when a plan comes together, don't you? Planning. Most of us don't do any planning. I think I think the biggest plan we have is to get up in the morning and take a leak. <laughs> Sometimes I feel that way too. My priorities are different when I wake up. Planning. You got a plan, and you can't get stuck on the plan from yesterday. Learn from yesterday. Set that plan aside. Why do I bring up planning? I bring up planning because of several consulting sessions and some emails, and. I think every average guy out there wants to have a girlfriend or a wife. I really do. I don't think any of them plan for it. They just hope. <laughs> they hope. And, and, of course, being average men out there, they're pretty much invisible to nearly all women. Um, and they don't have much of a plan. And that's why, that's why there's so many coaches and uh, folks out there selling the magic pill. <laughs> One of them cracked me up. They got some gals out there that are get, uh, coaching guys on finding the girl next door. And they sound wonderful. And I, they're, they're cute. And who wouldn't want them as a girlfriend? And they're making money hand over fist. And what they're selling is a bunch of feel-good words like, guys, your plan should be to be emotionally available. Be ready for that relationship. Your energy should be at a certain vibration this wide, this deep, and you should feel and be open to her energy into your space so that the alignment is perfect. And with that alignment comes the spiritual angle for which you can become one. This is what's being sold by a beautiful girl next door. And it cracks me up because it sounds good. That's it. Sounds good, bunch of feel good words, and there's no plan. Can you imagine the plan being to be emotionally available? What the hell does that mean? My emotions are available to you. Okay. I guess my emotions are available to everybody in the whole world that meets me. Um, whatever that means. Um, you know, I like to express a whole lot more value than surface conditions of my emotions. Uh, I, I use them to serve me, not to serve others. So plan. I notice most guys don't have any plan when they start dating. And I'll tell you guys this for sure. Oh wow, I just saw an F-15 just flew over the past. That is so fucking cool. Anyway, yeah. You see some amazing things in the Mojave Desert. Oh, that's an old one too. Anyway, you have to have a plan when you're dating because if you don't, you're going to be a part of her plan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Women are always planning. If they're dating you, there's a plan for you. What is that plan? Well, almost 100% of the time, she's not going to tell you openly. It's going to be in her subcommunication and interactions. Uh, because women can tell you that I don't want any hookups. I don't want any such a thing. I'm ready to settle down. And their actions are completely different. It gives them plausible deniability. It lets them feel good with their consciousness. And, you know, they just follow the habits they got into. It may not be that. It may be a woman's very serious, but she's very hesitant. And then there's the gals that say, I don't have sex in the first 19 dates. Okay, great. Well, move on, you know. You don't have to put up with anything. You need a plan. You should have in your head some sort of loose plan that if I'm going to date, what is my goal? My ultimate goal, if I'm that average guy and I'd like to have a long-term girlfriend that ultimately ends up in a family situation, don't tell her that up front, but have that as your goal. Because if not, she's gonna, you're going to be a part of her plan. And most likely, she doesn't even know what her plan is if she's under 35 years of age. You know? And if she's a single mom or over 35 years of age, she's got a plan. Trust me, she has a plan. Has anybody ever read any dating profiles of women of those ages? Startlingly different than women younger. Women younger, their plan is pretty simple. I want to find myself. I'm right here. What is finding yourself? 
Well, it's euphemism for I want to go out there, have fun, have lots of sex with different men, and decide what I like. Great. I can't come out and say it because men don't like that. And that would ruin her chances in the future if you would come out and say something like that. Um, women always have a plan. Maybe you're a part of that plan to go out and help her find herself. Uh, and you should be able to screen her and get past that pretty quickly. But have a plan. It's particularly important if you have a girlfriend and you guys have actually got to the point where you have talked about this exclusivity if you choose to be exclusive because there's lots of different ways to do it you could be mutually exclusive with her and you'll have to have that level of trust I personally would not do such a thing and I never did such a thing when I was dating it's always non-exclusive it wasn't until I was engaged to be married that I committed to exclusivity and that's even then that is not required to date uh, but you need to be clear and at least let the other person have a fair shot at an honest relationship. So you need to tell them what they're up against. That's just common decency and honor. And if you don't have that in you, then, you know, so be it. You'll be stuck with whatever you get because it'll come back to you. Anyway, the plan is pretty simple. It lasts forever. You always have to have a plan. Make sure that she's a part of your plan, not that you're a part of her plan. Because as men, being a part of her plan means that you are probably gonna be a stepping stone because women don't like men that are part of her plan. They like to be a part of a man's plan. And you can find this over and over again. Maybe they'll say it, most, most will, that have any sort of experience in relationships. Those that do not and have very short-term relationships will say that's not true, it should be the same. It's a level of maturity that you don't find often until a woman's had some real relationships. And you'll see, they wanna be a part of your plan. You could tell, it's part of their selection process. Women are the selectors. And since they're the selectors, and they ultimately decide who gets to rest inside, they decide who comes there and they decide that it's always a man with a plan or at least a man with a perceived plan or a man who has a potential plan and uh, that's because men are success objects to women and being a success object is not that hard if you got your shit dialed in and you're on track and you have a plan that's enough for today.